My name is Napoleon Jones Henderson. I live here in Roxbury for the last nearly 50 years. I work in several different uh, uh, artistic mediums. One is textile weaving, another is silk screen printing, and one that I spend quite a bit of energy toward doing public artworks in, which is enamel on uh, copper, which is um, executed in a format, visual format, that would resemble stained glass windows enamel is actually fused melted glass that is adhered to a metal surface silver bronze steel copper and any number of other metals i use copper for the most part they are on average 28 feet or 29 feet across and width and high as nine feet my very first one was at Roxburgh Community College. It's a set of doors for the entryway to the library. And they have now been uh, reinstalled to the interior of the library. At the lower register of the piece, you see the stylized Sanufu figures marching across the lower level. And those are representative of the people of Roxbury who kept up the 20 year struggle with the state of Massachusetts to get a community college built here in Roxbury. And the upper register of that composition is uh, four, two Adinkra symbols, which one it speaks about wisdom and one speaks about hope. And also you have stylized, four stylized masks in there, which represent symbolically the four presidents of the struggle, the 20 year struggle for Roxbury Community College to be physically built. Uh, most recent one, which is installed at the Bruce Bowling Municipal Building, Nubian Square. And the piece is entitled, Roxbury Rhapsody. And as we as a people live our lives, we definitely, in relationship with one to the other, create a visual, a auditory, and a spiritual rhapsody that uh, sustains us. And all of my works do speak in terms of historical aspects of our history and really a suggestion to, if not a uh, direct uh, directive on my part of where we might want to go or be in the future. The piece, Ain't Nobody Nothing Without God, that's the first vignette of Duke Ellington's suite of sacred music. And I have for, I would say easily the last 20 or better years, I've been working on executing an enamel uh, on carpet piece uh, in the stained glass profile of one of Duke Ellington's vignettes out of that entire suite. I hope to really execute the entire suite uh, because who better among many than Duke Ellington's sacred suite to be translated into a work of visual art. Uh, that piece represents uh, the essence of black life is that we all know that nobody ain't nothing without God. And so if you ain't got God, then you, you don't have anything. And that piece is um, where I started. The um, procession of the ancients and Providence at the convention center is a very interesting piece. It's a piece that was going into a convention center. And we know convention centers are, I would say, a modern day manifestation of the uh, marketplace. People come from all over to share goods, services, all kinds of things. So it's a place of congregation with people bringing their stuff. That location where the convention center is built in Providence, before they sh closed off the other side of the river that runs through uh, Providence, the city, center of the city, was an island. And that was the island in which all the native people would periodically come and have a marketplace where they would all bring their their wares and foods and all kinds of things and where they exchange and barter. And so it was very much a convention center. It was a place where goods and services and people came together to exchange. So the title is about the ancients and I drew upon the Egyptian stylized format of the head figure as a representation of ancient peoples, the spirits of ancient people. They are not a particular person. They have a resemblance to a particular kind of 
time and place and culture and people, but it's a universal similar to uh, John Wilson's eternal presence here on the grounds of the Museum of the National Center of Afro-American Artists here in Boston. Throughout that piece, as there's a detail that shows these turtles, and turtles are very much a part and present in my larger works. I use the turtle because it is a universal symbol of perseverance, steadfastness, and one who reaches their destination through whatever trials and tribulations they are. And every culture in the world has a, has a story or a proverb or something about the turtle. As I was installing the piece, a father and his son came through the convention center as I was working on it, and the little child was just excited about the piece, and he's, he really got very excited about the turtles, and he asked me about the turtles, and I told him pretty much what I told you, and the father shared with me, he said, well, you do know that before they filled in the street, and this was an island, the native people here called this Turtle Island. <laughs> so again, I, I tell people, my work drives me, and the spirit of the people or peoples are the things that push forward the creative piece that comes out in the end.